Boxing fans, today I'm going to talk about Vladimir Klitschko versus Jean-Marc Mormek. Starting with Jean-Marc Mormek, he is 39 years of age, has a 40 fight record, winning 36, lost 4, and all but 3 have been a cruiserweight, his last 3 fights have been a heavyweight, and he's had mixed success. His opponent is the true heavyweight champion, he is Vladimir Klitschko. Dr. Steelhammer. He has a 59 fight record, 56 wins, 3 losses, all 3 losses by KO, 49 of his 56 wins by way of knockout, and he's got an 83% KO ratio. Describing their attributes, I think Vladimir has every advantage in the book. He's got the height and the reach. He's got the home advantage as the fight's in Dusseldorf. Um, he's got the better skill, he's got the higher KO ratio, and he's even boxed, boxed more rounds, so he's more experienced. As Jean-Marc Mormek, and his three fights at heavyweight as for Vinny Madelon, in which it was a very close decision in France, where obviously Jean-Marc Mormek is based. In fact, on one score cards, he only won by two points, which is quite worrying, as Vinny Madelon's never has been. Next was another another opponent and that in that fight all three judges added by one point to Jean Marc Mormek so he just won that narrowly and then in his only fight against the named opposition and this guy's a I'd say a, a fringe contender being really nice Timur Ibragimov he won a split decision one of the judges gave it the other way and he won the uh, he won on four points on the other two scorecards in France you've got to think what would it have been in Germany or anywhere else I don't know I don't think he's made for this kind of division to be honest at 39 years of age he's not getting any better he's rated number 14 in the world and to be honest without knocking Vladimir Klitschko I don't think Jean-Marc Mormek deserves to be here I really don't I think there's hundreds of people who are better suited to him considering he's only had three fights of the division. I would rather see him fight Eddie Chambers again. Um, Alexander Dichromenko is another guy who's, who's still higher ranked and better suited to fighting him. Maybe Frank, Frank, uh, Franklin Lawrence for the American viewing, even though the age isn't too different, but still. Maybe a shot against Chris Ariola, or... I don't know. I don't know when it was I would rather maybe Alexander Ustinov, but I, th I don't think that Jean-Marc Mormek deserves to be there. I'm going to go through their best chance of winning. Vladimir Klitschko just has to do what he normally does: use the jab and then throw in the right hand over the over the top, and he's going to catch Mo Mormek. And Mormek's going to go down as he's been knocked out by smaller guys before, like such as David Hay. And that's probably Jean-Marc Mormek's best fight against David Hay. His most well known fight, anyway. And now, what can Jean Marc Mormek do for victory? Well, it's not impossible, but it's asking a lot. It's, a, it's an uphill battle, if you can say that. Uh, Jean Marc Mormek has to be in and out, he has to do a raiding tactics, but it's not going to work because David Hay tried it and, he, and it's not going to work. I don't think he's got the power to knock out Vladimir Klitschko. In fact, I know he's not. And I don't particularly think he's, gonna, he's, a, he's a better boxer than Vladimir Klitschko. And if he stands in front of Vladimir, it's going to be a really early night. To be honest, I don't see the point in this fight actually happening. I, I think Jean-Marc should, Mormek should f fight a few other people, try and get higher up on the rankings. That way we'll know if, he, if he's an um, actual contender or just someone bumped up the rankings. So this is how I think the fight's going to happen. And I think that Vladimir Klitschko is going to come out as normal. He's going to box, jab. He's going to use the jab. I think Mormek's going to... He's going to make an attempt for the first two rounds. And let's say make an attempt if the fight goes that far anyway because it's only going to take a few big right hands to put him down and put him out pretty much I mean I'm not saying Mormek's got a bad chin I'm just saying he's been knocked out before so it's going to happen again especially with a guy who's three stone heavier more more or less I mean that's you got to, got to realize that that is the it's like a lightweight fight in a middleweight it's just not it, it's suicide I think that Wadami is going to knock him out. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I need to spend too much more time on this. I think it's going to be over by the sixth round.